Hey, Mom. Hey, sweetheart. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you? Wonderful. Did you see another movie? I technically did. I saw a documentary called Screwball. Have you ever seen it? No. I don't think I've even heard of it. It's... No, I've, I've called a lot of people Screwball. <laughs> But I don't think I've seen a documentary that showcases those uh, rare qualities. They oh, it it did. It's about the the drug scandal with um, uh, a rod and the and baseball and all the the baseball steroid scandal back in like two thousand ten. I remember that vaguely. Yes, uh, Alejandro okay. uh, Rodriguez and uh -huh. uh, a bunch of other people. It was about that scandal and specifically the self-proclaimed doctor who was giving these steroids to all these people in Miami. Right. So it was, you know, it was set in Miami, and it, it really painted Miami as a as a cesspool, which was entertaining. And uh, <laughs> kind of is. Yes. But there, there's, you know, the the doctor who they were interviewing, and he was such a character. Oh my gosh, it was on. It was some. I was wondering how they got him to say all these things because he was just so honest, and. And, you know, he would say some wild things and then dramatically take a sip from his water bottle. And it was just the, it was the, you can't make this stuff up. Uh, and even everyone was a character. Even the, the health inspector that was sent to investigate these people from the government had, was like a, a crazy loose cannon cop in his like previous life. Like they're, they're they they were all w wild people, all of them. I want to talk about it just because this specific documentary did something very original. In that, you you know how in documentaries they often kind of uh, make fake footage to go along with the the interview where they'll have reenactments of things with like yeah, actors yeah, that's, that's very common yeah it's very common because you need something to fill that time you can't just have and to it visualize what what happened yes mm -hmm. well they did all that but they did it all with child actors what so all of the all of the reenactments were with like 10 year olds it makes it look even more nuts. It may, but because everyone was acting ridiculous and, and people were making very stupid decisions, it kind of, it felt, the, the vibe, it was a very lighthearted vibe. And I, and they managed to, to, to the, the scandal, no one really got hurt, which is why they had a very, it, it has a very whimsical tone and it, it works. You know, you couldn't do this with a, you know, real life crime, like serial killer case. But right, right. with with a bunch of doofuses in Miami, it it really it really works, and so so they and they got the perfect so the the guy who basically whistle was the whistleblower on this was just this dude who liked to go to tanning salons and didn't really know he very very innocent. I had a, this innocence to him. He did not really understand that this doc doctor, who he didn't realize wasn't a real doctor, who was giving him steroids, was a fraud, right? And he was trying to help him out and wanted to promote him and help his business, not really understanding that this is illicit and should not be promoted. You know? But the act... The child actor they chose for him. They they also chose at kids that kind of vaguely looked like the person, and you know a, a little bit enough for you so that you knew exactly who, who was who, and they got someone who this kid who really did look like a Rod. Um, I it was, 
it, it was it was great uh, but the but the, the the whistleblower kid they because he was such a bulky guy they put and, and actually a bunch of people in the story were were you know people on steroids and were muscle bound uh like there was there's these two guys that kind of felt like mobsters they looked like they were out of goodfellas but they owned a tanning salon well it's a good way to uh you know launder money maybe. no exactly <laughs> I, you, you wouldn't expect it but they yeah they were completely well, that's the whole point that's the whole point <laughs> but all the actors who played those people those kids were put into very obvious muscle suits Muscle suits? Most of them are wearing muscle suits. <laughs> it was amazing. Oh my god, that sounds hilarious. You and Dad, Dad would love this. This it it gave me honestly. It felt, it felt like Wolf on Wall Street a little bit. Oh, that level of ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, kind of... Wolf on Wall Street is like is like a guide of what not, not to, to do. do in your life. But th this one kind of felt like it. So there's this, so this, this Cuban, Cuban guy, this, the son of two doctors, he, he couldn't really make it in, in proper medical school for a variety of reasons. He's not, he, for a variety of reasons. Uh, he got his doctorate in like Belize, which does not qualify in the united states like he he had it was a three-year medical degree <laughs> he knows how to put on a band-aid great <laughs> so he he's not a licensed practitioner but he still was giving people medications because he was using his father's license to oh my god and also Did his father know that? i think i think so oh my god but you know he so so that that's the person who's doing a lot of this interview and he has a very wolf on wall street like oh yes and i was partying and high on cocaine during this part and this part and, and it, it was just wild and then he tells the story of where he you know he has to give injections to to a rod at various places without people knowing and sometimes in the bath and one time they did it in the bathroom of a club while they were out clubbing and then he he you know he's he's high on something and they're partying and he loses the vial of blood at the party and they both are on the floor while everyone's partying around them trying to find this one vial of blood <laughs> which is amazingly reenacted by children oh my god you guys need to see hilarious. it it's called screwball absolutely okay. fantastic highly recommend i i think dad would like this in this uh this one a lot it's also right, right. set in miami down. It's, right right so it'll make it even funnier for us yeah